Take, eat. This is my body. Christ's words at the Last Supper, a gospel transformed into dance. John Neumeyer's St. Matthew passion was daring from the start. Never before had a choreographer taken on Johann Sebastian Bach's sacred oratorio in such a way. Now, this Hamburg Ballet classic returns with a new generation of dancers. When he first heard it, Bach's stirring music moved Neumeyer to the core. He knew at once that he would adapt it someday, that he would pursue a choreographic form for the universal and deeply personal religious content this great work awakens. I am both a Christian and a dancer, Neumeyer explains. My whole life, all my thought and feeling are the dance, and choreography is my real language. Here, that language has become the artistic vehicle for expressing religious experience and conviction, and it does so as no other language can. Transforming sacred music into secular dance was considered sacrilegious by some. But for Neumeyer, such grapplings of the spirit are facts of life. Dance is the very expression of spirituality, the unfettered reaction to Bach's ethereal music. Bach's oratorio is both dramatic and epic, figurative and abstract, Neumeyer points out. What we perceive and feel moves on to the transcendent. Despite the strict rhythm, the ensemble breaks free into its own. In white robes, on simple benches, the dancers are both actors and witnesses. Then, from their midst, images begin to coalesce, associations, simple forms at first, liturgical allusions in motion. The dancers hear the word and orient themselves within reacting to the unfolding events, embodying words of Christ, Peter, Judas, and Pilate, and adding personal interpretations in sections open to improvisation. The audience, too, bears witness to the sufferings of Christ. Though this Christ, played by Neumeyer himself in many performances, is someone who has withdrawn, who doubts, and who suffers his fate only to become all the more present. Fear, love, sorrow, denial, death, forgiveness, the Matthew Passion is marked by deeply human emotions. Human unity was perhaps my most significant and overwhelming experience in working on the Matthew Passion, Neumeyer recalls. 
the long process of rehearsal altered our previous method of working. The dancers no longer had to play parts. They, first of all, had to be themselves. Nearly all dancers are now new to this major work, 35 years after its premiere. An entirely new generation carries forward the torch of John Neumeyer's St. Matthew Passion. <laughs>